Not as well known as Rosalia from her country, but from Spain, we have Maria Jose Alurgo, who comes from the same background in a way, because now she's crossing over into pop culture with this video. This video is set in the future. I'll give you the bio to it in a few seconds. Maria Jose Alurgo is one of those singers that you are going to fall in love with because this is what my channel is about, introducing underrated and new stars to you. Although she's been around for a fair few years, it's only recently, is she really becoming an artist in her own right? She won a Goya Award, which is the equivalent to the Grammy Awards in the music industry. And this now is called Super Potter. It's a new single, that you're going to hear by Maria Jose Alurgo that advances the arrival of her new album called Ultra Beleza. The singer from Poza Blanco starts her concert tour in Cordobia on November the 11th this year, but her new album will be released in October the 27th with 12 songs that she's been working on for two years. Now this new song here, Super Powder, was released on October the 5th as a premiere to the album Ultra Pazella which will be, as I said, released in October the 27th, yeah. Now, she's been quoting different things. How is Spain? Are you ready to see it? I'm dying to share it with you on her Instagram account. These are quotes. And the artist from Pozo Blanco advanced the publication of the new single, which she presents with a powerful, as you're going to see, audiovisual commitment in a video directed by Andrea Warren. Now, she, there's lots of little things that she says uh, on the Instagram. I was able to play, experiment, create from a place I'd never been. As moving to me as it was pure and strong, from which several songs come out, among them Super Poda, she says. In this song, I reviewed my own story of improvement. It's an autobiographical song, but it takes on a global dimension, which you'll see when you connect with the story of improvement that we all carry inside. And she quotes some of the lyrics i learned to cry singing i learned to cry I, I learned to sing crying together we are changing the ugly of this bad world beautiful poetic words i have to say and then she finishes later i was lucky enough to do something new risky that i've been dreaming about for years and the video clip in all 3d with andrea warren a genius of visuals and creating worlds helped me do that that did not exist before with whom I connect in a deep and natural way. It goes on to say about this particular video and presentation and release. The video presents Maria, and this is the summary of the video again, as a warrior through 3D worlds who overcomes several trances throughout her life. So you'll see several different changes in the video, obviously. In this song, I reviewed my own story of improvement. It's an autobiographical song, but it takes on a global dimension when you connect with the story of improvement that we all carry within, as I've just explained. And she says, um, and it says, sorry, Lyoga's new musical proposal remains faithful to the artist's style. She's very artistic. She's like almost, you know, when you walk past a clothes shop and you've seen a the manuskins in on the window display displaying she's almost like art coming to life like looking going into a museum and looking at your favorite painting by your favorite artist and seeing it move and coming to life she is a wonderful artist and if you look and study her videos they're so intensely artistic and visual that it almost makes her a piece of art and it's just with sound it really is beautiful to watch some of her videos. So anyway, this remains faithful to the artist style, which has led her to be one of the most recognized names in the current scene. She certainly is since she's won the, the Goya Award in Spain, not only for her, her unique voice and taste in singing, but also for her lyrics that elevate the songs to poetry. They're very poetic. Now, as I said, it's going to be one of 12 songs <clears throat> from the new album looking forward and in a you know a few weeks she'll be doing her concert tours already demand for sales are exceeding or or demand for for the tickets are exceeding 
what's been put out there so I believe there's extra dates gonna come as well so that's a great announcement from a young Spanish girl I've got the lyrics in front of me it's self autobiographical she says and let's listen to the song and the future 3d effects that Andrea whom she worked with has produced oh, I'm looking forward <laughs> Wow, I have to say, it's quite a journey you've taken us on there. There's a lot of symbolism. There's a lot of power in that particular video. And I'll just get rid of this. Because it's all live. If you have an hour this week, you can... Unbelievable. Just have to say. So there you go, a dramatic ending to a wonderful, wonderful video. It's full of symbolism, full of stages of her life, autobiographical, but it takes us on a journey, almost a journey to a new world that she's seeking out, obviously. Because when you kind of do that kind of video and it's autobiographical, straight away, I think, 
she's transcending into a new world and she certainly is musically as i said she is one of the most established artists now in spain on the scene she's very current that is a very current video it's almost like a gaming video and you could almost put that to a gaming situation and be very successful the visuals andrea were andrea sorry were exceptional well done i can see how you work with maria and probably made her even more creative i'm going to do a very special thumbnail to attract people to this video they have to see it now i didn't put up in english because it didn't come with english subtitles to come up but i will add the subtitles to my video and hopefully they will come up and you will get an understanding but then i think if i do that it's going to take away from the video because people ask why i'm not doing it and i say this we need to concentrate on the artist the video and the song and even if you don't understand the language the video and the artist singing will carry you through and then i explain so i think i'll keep to that otherwise i'll ruin the video that's that's the decision i've made there there's quite a few uh lyrics to get through superpoda verse one years millennia it took to understand that i can be a bullfighter a sword and bull at the same time now i can see it now i can see it pure like water heart of a fish this is the thing about maria's lyrics they're so she could she is a poet she i think there's an old soul within this lyricist and this performer because what she gives in her lyrics is that powerful dimension that other people cannot express and that's poetry in motion the video is moving you're listening to her words you're going along with the song and you're wondering i wonder what this is about but this is what it's about and you see maria there with the bulls running around her and the sword and for me that's the start of a journey it's the start of she to get where she is today and i saw this at the goya awards when she was presented with that as i said that's like the grammys of the music industry within spain and when she was on stage and she thanked her father and she thanked her mother and she said when she was from a child they have supported my musical journey it's a tough decision to make because not enough people consider it an industry where you can make money from it's too competitive and it is even me with my new channel it's very competitive but hey i have my first million views my subscribers are going up it you have to be that bull i'm born in april so i'm a taurus that's the bull sign so I can relate to this. You've got to be tough. And in Pamplona, the, the bullfighting, we all know Spain for the bullfighting. And it's almost like you carry the sword. And the sword is symbolic of eventually you slay the bull. And your strength overcomes the strength of the bull. And then she says, pure like water, heart of a fish. In other words, she's that fish that's going on a journey in, in a vast vast ocean musically and she's still on that journey but at the moment she can see where she's going she said kissed by the sun dark skinned mum cries at night she doesn't know what to do another paper has arrived in the mailbox there's nothing to pay pay with nothing to eat so she goes she reflects on the hardship of her mother paying bills her upbringing how difficult things were and that you know I know today everything is done by email and everything is done by phone and you can pay your bills on the phone but there are still a lot of us like myself who receive bills in the paper form in the envelopes and the brown one was always a bill that had to be paid and then you got a brown one with a, a red letter stamp mark in the corner it was awful if you were in that position and we've all been there i personally and she reflects on that she goes on to say that girl is broken she feels too much so those thoughts to her straight away are too painful and she whispers the neighbors throughout the neighborhood in other words 
She probably felt displaced as a child, grown up being poor, bills, not enough money coming in. I'd love to wear the latest fashion. I'd love to. We all have, have when we're young, aspirations and dreams of what we'd like to do, where we'd like to be. And you do compare yourself, even as a child, to another child who has the bike, goes on holidays, goes away for weekends, they have a car, they have a mummy and a daddy, and you're in a situation where your mother's struggling to pay bills and put food on the table. You come to 2023 now, and since COVID, a lot of people are in that situation. So these are very relatable from what Maria has grown up with. It's actually more relatable now in 2023, can you believe? A lot of people are struggling. Anyway, she says, life passes, years go by, now I fly around the world. I live on stages. It's the dream come true from a child, where she was once different. She's now fought like the bull and the sword. She's slayed those bulls that surrounded her, that kept her in that circle. But she's become a warrior within herself to succeed. Her mother gave her lots of love and support. And in memory of her father, she's, she feels this is my destiny. Spiritually, with my mother, physically, I'm balanced. And I've got the determination to succeed. And look at me now on stage receiving a Goya Award and being successful. How I fought to get to this position. And when we see, you know, the video taking her through, and it's like the inside of a watch and a clock, her life is a journey, it's ticking by every day. And she doesn't know where she's going to be or which, which part of the world she's, she's going to. That's her spirit guiding her, the guiding spirits in that video. To me, that's what it represents. She says, the girl, the girl is broken. She feels too much, whispering the neighbors throughout the neighborhood, life passes years go by now I fly, fly around the world and I live on stages so the, the neighbors from whispering are now whispering for different reasons oh she's very successful oh my god didn't she do great that's neighbors for you sorry about any noise that way any noise outside on the window and then she says I learned to cry while singing I learned to sing while crying and that's very important in this whole and she emphasizes that even in an in Instagram interview. Those two lines are symbolic of what this song is around. She has wrote lyrics at times where she has spiritually, mentally and physically been broken, watching with her eyes the world she lives in. And now it's a reverse. She cries with happiness, being on stage in front of people, being rewarded for her efforts, being asked to do film theme tunes which she's been doing and to sing songs like this and work with creative people like Andre Andreo and realize all my dreams are coming true creatively and now I'm on stage physically and I'm doing the job I love and I'm earning money and it's great so it's like tears of sadness have turned to happiness together we are changing she is you're going to the ugliness of this bad world what she once saw that was dark and grim is now so happy because it talks about the lyrics kissed by the sun so superpower 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 so she's full of her own em empowerment her own decisions her own karma she's full of that she can decide now and make decisions that she's Always people guided her, but now she's in a position of making. So she won that Goya Award. She's in charge of her career. She knows which way she's going forward. And people are trusting her to bring her on to projects. So she, it's almost like having all these superpowers. The zeros in my account are not inherited. I earn them all myself. So she talks about her increase in wealth. Singing, I'm like the poppy, dark and red. I don't need any more. I take care of myself. So she's not reliant on other people. She's not doing two jobs um, to put food on the table. She's not going home at weekends to put extra burden on her mother to feed her. She's probably taking care of her mother, giving her a new home, improved her mother's lifestyle. She's become that embodiment of strength and success 
and determination to keep this going she's got the flame you see the sword with flames that's also when you've got that burning desire to keep successful and keep living those moments and she's willing to and at the moment she's making all the right decisions and people in the industry are loving her so she can only be blessed because she mentions this for the working class neighborhoods for my these are the reasons why she does it from people in the poor areas she wants to be inspirational for people in the poor areas she wants to prove you can get out of this and she because she says in case they told you that you couldn't because of money and it's a tyranny which is in other words when people say you've got to be rich to get on in life that's not true sometimes you've got to be poor wanting to be rich to be successful and that's what she's saying for the working classes for my Mulvena, Mulvenas you can be whatever you want blessed is your life empower yourself believe in yourself she says and it can happen it happened to her a girl in the neighborhood becoming whom she has become and she says in case they told you that you couldn't because of money and tyranny she repeats that for the neighborhoods you can be whatever you want blessed is your life and then she finishes i learned to cry while singing i learned to sing while crying together we are changing the ugliness of this bad world all the people that are like her are now turning negativity into positivity and that positivity into rays of sunshine to enhance their lives and the people around them and she finishes together we are changing the ugliness of this bad world what beautiful poetic lyrics it took long enough to get through it i'm sorry it's such a long video but there were, it is an introduction again to her i won't do that again i'll go straight into the song but it is a wonderful coming up to her tour her new album ultra brazella Zella, I say to you, Maria Jose Elorgo, welcome back and good luck in the tour and good luck for future success. You'll be back. I'll be reviewing you the next song very soon. Take care.